I'm going to tear apart this training plan. This plan is trash. And let me just go over how I found this workout plan. So I was perusing Instagram, as I always do. And this training expert, science-based guy, right, um, always posting research studies, puts out in his stories, hey, tap here for a free upper-lower program. And I've done this before on people, and it really surprises me what they will put out there as a training plan for either they themselves to follow or other people to follow. So I go ahead and I tap into it, and he emails me this training plan, as you can see right here, right? Upper, lower split, a couple days off in between, and uh, it had a few pages of information as to how to execute the training plan. So some huge critiques I have of this training plan. First, I'll start off with the positives. I like the exercise selection as a whole. These are compound movements. These are some big hitters that are going to be making major gains with these exercises, especially as you progress over time. So I'm not hating on the exercises that he chose at all. They're pretty similar to probably stuff that I would have chosen and that a lot of coaches are prescribing for their athletes and for their trainers, right? Um, However, it's pretty much everything else about this program is where it falls apart for me. So in the pages that he added to this, uh, I, I will spare you from reading it, but I will tell you what it said. It basically talked about training volume. Uh, I was really looking for a line to say how hard to train, right? Do you push to failure? Do you go all out in these exercises? Like how do you push them? And he didn't say that at all. And in fact, the only thing this person did say about the training plan, about training to failure, was not to train to failure on your first set because you know you have a few more sets, right? And so instead of teaching people, hey, let's push ourselves really hard and do a really low amount of volume because we don't need to, because we already push ourselves hard and stimulated the growth, instead, people do this, which is, middle of the road right this is a middle of the road volume approach three sets no one's really going to argue with that you know if he said five sets you'd be like well it's too much if he said like one you'd be like well it's not enough right so he, it's a very middle of the road plan right three sets everyone's happy with that most of the exercises are eight to ten reps some go up to 12 and some go like six to eight but it's really arbitrary um there's no reason to pick one or the other so again, very middle of the road. No one's going to argue with this, right? This is very cookie cutter type of plan that anyone could have come up with in the last 25, 30 years of lifting, right? It's as if we've learned nothing. It's as if uh, this program could have been written in the 90s. It would have contained the same exercises, with the same sets and reps. It really wouldn't have changed much in terms of mainstream exercise advice, right? Like I was talking about, there was no line in the instructions on how hard to push yourself. And instead, he went on and justified the volume recommendations, right? 180 reps a week and the number of sets per week and uh, the compound lifts train your arms, but you might want a little bit of arm work and he kind of threw those in to the plan as well. I was very under underwhelmed when I read this. I was like, wow, this guy, I'm telling you right now, he's got over 200,000 followers, coaching people left and right, spitting out uh, exercise science research studies left and right. And I've been following him for a few years. I don't take other influencers information. Like I don't take it in like I'm a consumer. Um, I take it in to kind of bounce ideas off of what I already know, what I've already learned. And so weighing this against what I already learned and know, I think that this is a lot of work. It's a lot of sets, right? So you're about six or seven exercises per workout, everything three sets, right? Um, he said how to progress this plan in double progression, right? If you've never heard of that, say you have three sets of 10, they're all 10 reps. Next week, you push for 11s. Next week, you push for 12s. Once you get all three sets to 12, then you add weight, drop back down to 10 and repeat the process, right? That's one way to do it. Um, you know, you can push your first two sets, 10, 10, and then push the last set, try to get 11, try to get 12, 
once your last set gets 13, then add weight. Like there's other other ways to do this, but um, at the end of the day, if you're following this plan, you got to do everything three times. I guess that's the magic amount of attempts that you get to stimulate muscle in that in that muscle group on that exercise, right? If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I train with one set per exercise, and I push that set as hard as I possibly can. I'm not going to do a redo. I'm not going to do it again and again. And sometimes I do a second set once in a while if I want to see if it's going to give me any more results or if I completely butchered the first set, if I put on too much weight for the exercise or not enough weight, I can stop it, reload, or just go to failure and maybe do a second set. But I almost always do one set because that's all you need to do. And people they don't understand exercise science. They read a study or they don't even read the study. They just read the abstract. They just read the conclusion and then they post the conclusion. And it's like, bro, if you read these studies, they're conducted terribly. They're conducted as if powerlifting is strength and as if high volume is bodybuilding. And the researchers actually think this when they go into the studies. So it completely changes their results. And they're like, well, You know, the high volume group, some of them grew a lot and some of them regressed and lost muscle and, and, and everyone's different, right? That's what they're telling us because they keep getting all these different data points and none of it makes sense. Well, that's because you're overtraining and you're not training hard enough. So if you stop doing that and you train very, very hard with less training, you can actually let yourself adapt and see progress and push for more reps or weight each time that you work out, and that should go on for a while. You should be able to progress every time you work out. I myself, in the past, have done the whole three sets of 10 thing. I've done four sets on some exercises. I've trained four, five, six days a week. I've done all that, right? It didn't get me any better results than training extremely hard for a few exercises for less days of the week. Um, It's just a a lot of extra work, right? So, Really, if you look at this plan and you actually train hard, it's way too much work, right? If you actually lift heavy, this this wasn't for beginners. This wasn't for advanced. This was just him putting it out there on the internet. So somebody who's a power lifter could pick up this plan and be like, holy smokes, three sets of 10 with my weight, you know, three sets of 10 with 400 pounds. It's like, it's, it's too fatiguing to even finish the rest of the workout, right? So I wish there was a little bit more nuance here. I wish he would have explained like how hard to push yourself. And I wish he would have had different volumes or just less volume or giving you an option, something like that. But anyway, this is the plan. And this is basically why I made this YouTube channel, right? In the first place, because I think plans like this are dumb. I think they're brainless, mindless. I think anyone can write this on paper, but until you take someone through the workout, they don't know what this means. Like, uh, (laughs) just like when I, if you were to see my training plan, one set of pull-ups, push-ups, dips, bicep curls, like you would be like, that looks retarded. It's because it does look retarded until you're in here, until you're actually doing it and training as hard as you possibly can. Then it clicks in your brain. You're like, holy smokes, this is not retarded. This is intense. This is insane. It's very challenging and it's very stimulating. So anyway, uh, prayers for everybody who clicked on this plan and is going to start running it. Um, I think there's a better way to go. I think you can train less and train harder and get at least the same results with less time. You might even find you get better results depending on your genetics and your recovery ability and how hard you can push yourself. But um, ultimately, I think this plan is very middle of the road, very cookie cutter, very uh, easy to digest. Nobody's going to oppose this. Nobody's going to get all up in arms and upset about it, um, probably except for me, um, because I'm very passionate about this stuff. And I think that we need to teach people an accurate way to train, a science-based way to train. You know, And I don't think Three sets of 10 is the ultimate uh, way to do that. I actually have a video, one of my first videos on this entire YouTube channel where I talked about three sets of 10 and the origin of three sets of 10 way back in the 1940s 
was your first set was for 10 reps with 50% of the weight. Your second set was for 10 reps with 75% of working weight. And then the third set was a set of 10, 100% of working weight to failure. And the people who invented it said, you could just do the final set to failure and get the same results. It was a physical therapy protocol is what it was. But somehow it turned into like everybody's bodybuilding plan is three sets of 10. Anyway, if you could do three sets of something, you didn't train it hard enough. And if you can do uh, that for every exercise on your whole list, then once again, you're not training very hard. Um, you're probably not stimulating that much muscle. It's going to work. Okay. So don't, don't come up. Don't come at me and say, Oh, you're saying it's not going to work. It's going to work for, for some people, for a lot of people, it's going to work, but will they have spent triple the amount of time in the gym? Yeah. You do what you want, do what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to do what I want to do and we'll see who wins in the end. But, uh, anyway, coach cam, thanks again for watching, like, share, comment, and subscribe.